What is going on today, you guys? We are here with the great Knox Barber on an off-roading road trip. This is Off-Roading with Jazz Musicians. <laughs> All right, episode one. Say the end statement. Uh, let's get right into it. an angle at the moment. Yeah. No at least if we crash and die, we'll be on camera. Oh, that feels so bad. That one kind of does. This is the best part of the trip so far. CB radio. Okay. Hello. And welcome back to Off-Roading with Jazz Musicians and Henry Montgomery, who is not a jazz musician. We have Knox Barber behind the wheel here. We are currently in the middle of hunting land. Never mind, there are a bunch of hunters right there anyway. Uh, uh, I'm on the block here right now, it's kind of crazy. The hunting season has just started and we're seeing hunters virtually everywhere, wherever we want to camp, whatever roads we want to go on. So we're probably going to see some of those guys. But currently we're on a very nice well, off-roading trail, so check it out. Wow. Yeah, Henry's car is still going. I'm glad it's not a leak. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Yeah, me too. Oh my gosh. Are you not just gonna take it all the way off? I'm taking it off slowly because I don't want gas to spread out. I, I don't know why this tank doesn't have better venting. 90s toilet, I guess. I know. We have made it up here to the top of the mountain in the vehicles. And look at this, right at tree line, holy crap. All right, Julian, what are we doing? We're hanging out up here at the top of the mountain above tree line, about to put up the dronage. Oh yeah. Looking like an 80s athlete. Montgomery. How's it going up there? I'm out of breath. Unreal. got a very unexpired plate. Oh, very unexpired. <laughs> Extremely. Totally legal. Totally, like, it's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. We're now back, barely above tree line. And if you're wondering why me and Knox are wearing masks right now, have not really updated you yet, but it turns out somebody that I've been in contact with does actually have the coronavirus. They tested positive for it. So this morning, me and Knox got our virus tests and we're waiting to hear back today or tomorrow and we both don't feel very bad, so we'll just have to play it by ear, but the trip is almost canceled if we do have it, obviously, so we'll see what the results entail. Hello everyone and welcome to the next day. We are currently and fortunately at Napa Auto Parts because Knox's transmission seems to be leaking a little bit of oil in a very not good place. So we're gonna see what happens here, but Knox is currently researching and we're gonna try to figure it out. What are you doing, Knox? I am uh, bungee cording my skid plate to the roof. Nice. So I can take it with us and I can still check the front dip. So, we have now been in this Napa Auto Parts parking lot for a solid hour and a half, two hours. 
Made some lunch, hung out in the sun, not really in the shade until right now. Knox's diff is definitely leaking, but it doesn't look like it's leaking so bad that we can't drive on it right now. So we've got some fluid to fill it up if need be, and we're gonna keep going. There's Henry. I've, I've moved inside my cave now. <laughs> All right, after spending much of the day in the Napa Auto Parts parking lot and not getting our COVID-19 test results, we're back going towards the campsite but we're still having a very good time. It's absolutely beautiful out here. We're gonna do another campsite tonight, so we're gonna get to another campsite. That should be fun. And we got some more food. So we got some good things coming out of the bad things, but hopefully we're COVID negative. That will be the best thing for sure. We found a pretty cool campsite up here in the Stillwater Pass area. Huh, Knox? What are you eating there? The best pretzels on the planet. I agree. Shout out to Dot's Pretzels. Check them out. Making quick work of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thing, man, I tell you. Just put it in first and let the clutch out. She'll do it. Yes, sir. Smooth. Alright, so we just finished up pulling out an F450 in Knox's truck that is literally half the weight of it. So Knox is about to pull out a dually F450 it seems. Alright Mr. Barber, you're putting him to the test. Oh! <laughs> yeah, not a problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Land Cruiser. Good job, Knox Barber. Thank you. We've had a pretty eventful morning so far. Before breakfast, we pulled out an F450 with Knox's Land Cruiser, ate some breakfast, and now we're headed back into town to hopefully get our COVID test results. We'll see. And go get some new parts and possibly fix Knox's truck. So we'll see what happens. So we just got some majorly good news which changed the trip for the better. My COVID test came back negative, my mom's came back negative, and my friend Max, who was in very close contact with the person that tested positive, also tested negative. So we are absolutely clear, we're good to go. Me and Knox are both COVID negative, so super happy about that and we're going to continue the trip the only next thing we definitely have to figure out is knox's front differential is leaking oil so we got to figure out a place to get parts for that and hopefully fix it ourselves so that is the next challenge not good i just cut the hose and a bunch of pressure and gear oil smelling air came out so I that would that be too. it um so hopefully that helps a lot i also touched the head and it's hot <laughs> We're back at the Colorado campsite for the last morning. Knox just filled up his front dip with oil. So we're set and ready to go. We're gonna start heading off to Utah. Got about a five or six hour drive towards Zion National Park. And we're gonna hopefully camp in some BLM land near there. So it should be a fun day. Nice road trip. Having a nice pee stop over there for Knox Barber. On the road to Utah. Just made it to the campsite here in Utah, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back to the Utah campsite in the morning. It is much, much more beautiful in the morning because we can actually see what is around us. We're making some bacon and eggs. It's gonna be a wonderful dia. And we're gonna start heading towards Zion National Park pretty quick. So today we are back in sunny Utah, right on the Arizona and Utah border. And today we're gonna to be going into Zion National Park and hopefully doing some hikes and things like that around there. But so far we've had a very full spectrum of weather on this trip. We've had some nights that have gotten into the low 20s and last night was a low of 66 degrees. So very, very different sleeping conditions. 
But yeah, this campsite is once again super beautiful, so hope you guys enjoy. We're getting very close to Zion National Park, as you can see. We're just traffic jamming here in Zion, but the views are not too shabby. We got the gas cap issue part two. It's a little hot. Oh my god. <laughs> you see it coming out of there. Yeah, dude. Damn. Weird. Here, hang on. I'm gonna. How do I mark it on your map, Henry? Um, Just come look at me. So that. Hello. Design for. It is oh. I. It is I, Julian Archer, on the hike. Stop. Rip it in there. In the, put it in the brim down at me. Sick. We are here in Zion National Park doing a little hike. We found one. Shout out to Sharon. Yeah. She's Sharon. Sharon. Sharon, the oh, park ranger. What a, what a champion. What a legend. Got us hip to a leg in. kind of desolate hike that is supposed to be absolutely beautiful at the observation point. So we'll check it out when we get there. Knox, how do you feel about this ledge? Well, um, it's pretty awesome. I'm very scared of it. All right, we the boys have just made it back from the hike. Super beautiful, scary cliff, huh, Knox? Yeah, I got a little more used to it, but it was worth it for yeah. sure. So now we're cracking a trailside beer and then we're heading we're back and trying sure to find a campsite. That? Yep. Yeah, I think we're sure about that. Mm -hmm. We're sure about that, huh, Henry? No question. What time is it? Oh, well, according to my watch right here, it's about beer o'clock. <laughs> ah, dude. <laughs> hey. You're cool, sheep. Hi, baby sheep. So Henry and I decided to get up a little bit early this morning and try to make the sunrise. And just waking up in this place after it being dark all night again is absolutely ridiculous. This is definitely the coolest view I've ever had from a campsite. And your mind just can't even comprehend a lot of this stuff around you. Come to Zion National Park, people. What? No. All right, we're officially heading out of the Zion National Park. Taking a picture at the sign and then we're heading back towards Colorado. Another long day on the road. Trying to cross the street. <laughs> Can you survive? Go! <laughs> we made it back into Colorado. We just made it into the national or not the national, oh, it is the national forest, the San Juan National Forest. And we're heading towards Telluride, Colorado now. We're gonna do some off-road trails tomorrow, but we're gonna stay somewhere near Telluride tonight. Back in Colorado. Okay, we are back the next morning in Colorado. We had another really, really beautiful campsite in Telluride, Colorado. And this is unfortunately the last day of the trip. But we're gonna do some really cool off-roading trails in the San Juans here near Telluride. And then we're gonna head back towards Golden, back to my house. So, should be a fun day. Radio check, one, two, three. <laughs> I don't think Henry's on the same channel. Oh 
look at these drop-offs here. Dude, you might be able to do this. I think I can do this. That looks sketchier. Crack might start going if you give it a little juice. Oh, oh, oh no way! Oh! oh. incredible guys All right, we made it out alive, back from the 13,000 foot peak. We're here, no major vehicle damage, three point slow, killing it, Landy, killing it. Okay, you guys, I think that is gonna do it for this video. This was a really crazy, awesome trip. We had a lot of really shitty experiences at the beginning and a lot of really, really awesome ones at the end. So it ended up being a really, really fun time. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you go down below and hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much again, and we'll see you in the next one.